Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. Today I'm going to show you how to create this debris pile up generator. Uh, links are going to be in the description if you want to get it. I'm going to create a grid. Uh, let's use a scale elements and uh, we can even expose this as uh, the scale so that we can control it through here. Uh, we can increase the resolution to something like 5 I think. Uh, let's look at that. Uh, maybe 30 something like this because we want to create a pile up we want to create something like a bell shape here so what i'm going to do is use a set position and uh, grab a gradient texture and if i connect this into the z component so if i just use a combine xy plug this into the z i get something like this but you can change the gradient because the gradient is giving us uh, something like this so values so we have 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so it's just pushing these vertices up and uh, the gradient also has negative values that's why you see that it's also stopping down like that but uh, we can change this from uh, linear to spherical so that we have uh, larger values in the middle and then they go this they go down as we go away from the center and uh, to do that now uh, we can use the spherical and uh, you see what we have now if I want this to be larger I can add a position vector this is just going to be like the coordinates of this gradient and if I use a vector math node and change this to scale I can basically scale the size of uh, this gradient so if I want the pile up to be wider I can do that but obviously I don't want it to be wider than the grid but uh, we will figure that out later I, I don't want it to just be this simple so I can let's see let's try adding a noise a noise texture so I'm just going to use a math node and just multiply uh, this with the noise so our debris can be scattered just like that uh, let's let's bring the noise up like that and uh, if I want to amplify this I can just add a math node now uh, that can scale up the height of the debris now let's scatter some point inside this volume but to make a volume we need to make sure that we enclose uh, this bottom half let me use my quick functions add-on uh, to preview the normals you can see this but we are seeing the back side of this and uh, it won't work very well if we try to convert this to a volume so if I even do that right now mesh to volume uh, you can see we are not getting what we want and I think the density has to come up quite a lot so what we're going to do is bring the original mesh so we have this and uh, we have these two here we can join them and that should enclose the mesh but uh, we need to flip uh, the back faces just like that now we also want to merge the nearest th these edges so that it becomes a single mesh now one issue we are running into is that uh, we also merging these faces here that's why you see that uh, the normals are getting flipped so we can before we even merge let's do a set position just to show you what's going on uh, I uh, want to push uh, this yeah I only want to merge the bounding edges so let's try selecting them if you look at the bounding edges one thing you will notice is that uh, each bounding edge are like this or this is only connected to one face but if you look at other edges this edge for example is connected to this and this this edge is connected to this and this the bounding edges are only connected to one face so we can find a node called edge neighbors uh, which has the number of faces each edge is connected to so if I preview that just use a compare node to see if I can find anything that has now we should be using an edge neighbors not face neighbors uh, so that we get the bounding edges the edges that are only connected to one face and you can see we have a nice selection here and now we can use that if I increase the distance you can see I'm merging those faces better and uh, let me remove this offset because I was just using it for preview purposes actually I might need it to offset just to have a small a slight offset just like that and I'm going to increase this distance to two so that yeah now we have something that is enclosed just like that perfect I can even get rid of uh, the first orientations 
and now if we use this as uh, the final uh, mesh to volume here okay, uh, we should see the volume uh, looking correct now we can just distribute uh, distribute points in volume and now we have a bunch of points in this volume and this will become our scattered points uh, I can bring in the debris you see how simple this is now we just have to reset everything so let's instance on points and again we want to use this collection uh, before you connect this make sure you turn on pick instance otherwise because we have a lot of objects in this collection blender might crash uh, so make sure you have pick instances on uh, so that it's using in video pieces just like that and uh, we have uh, that's a lot of objects uh, let's bring the density down to one so that we can work with something simple and uh, that's great now now we want to align the rotation of these instances to the rotation of uh, these points uh, the problem is that right now these points don't have any rotation data so let's capture that from this geometry uh, from this geometry here so what we're going to do is use the normals of these faces transfer them to these points so what i'm going to do is use our nearest surface sample nearest surface and the surface we want to sample is this original mesh so we can connect this face and uh, we want to get the normal direction normal uh, is a vector so we're going to pick the normal if you look at the points now you can see now they have a normal data which we can use to align the rotation of this object of these objects so can uh, use align rotation vector yeah align rotation vector uh, so connect this new data in here uh, so that it becomes our new rotation let's reduce the size of this of these down and you can already see that uh, they are piling up as we expect so which is simply amazing uh, let's randomize the scale so random value just bring this down now we are seeing a lot of missing areas so that we can just increase the density just like that and you can see we have now a nice pile up there and uh, you can change the C to get something different one other thing uh, is that uh, most most of the time you always have smaller debris at the bottom yeah so let's try and add that functionality yeah to add debris down here we can just take a look at the original mesh the flat one uh, this here with all the subdivisions we need to bring it i'm just going to add a real route node so that i can bring it here so we want to use this if we use geometry because we want to just scatter points on here so we can check how how close uh, these points are to this mesh and uh, to do that what I can do is just look at these instances and uh, I need to make a branch here and just get the position of each instance separate X Y and just look at their Z component and I can change this to instance and uh, so I want to re remove some of the debris that is that is not on the ground I can just delete geometry and I want to delete uh, want to delete instances so I'll just use this that are at a distance greater than something from the ground so I'm going to use a compare a compare node and now we have something like this huh actually this can also be a feature because I think I think it looks good this could be just another yeah I think this looks good as well uh, the only thing you might we might want to add here is uh, some extra rotation so we can use our rotate rotate instances and just randomize the Z rotation because I'm seeing that they're all facing the right the same direction so I'm going to use a uh, random value and it should be a vector let's try negative 4 for the minimum negative 4 that is usually I think around 360 and positive 4 if we bring this in we get a lot of rotation but uh, it's now this is now going through the ground yet before it was all on the surface so 
we don't want that much rotation. Uh, we especially want the Z rotation. So I'm going to reduce these to something like negative 0.1 and uh, maybe 0.1. So that most of the rotation is in the Z direction. Now you can see that uh, yeah, these are scattered, are rotated better. So here is uh, the before, yeah, and now you don't see it here because most of that is under here and you don't, but you also don't want to randomly, actually that could work. This versus this. Yeah, I think this is also good. So yeah, let's also add that. So, but I want to have control over this so that when you don't want that much random rotation, you can control that. I can use a vector math here with the operation of scale so that we can randomly, if we have this set to zero, we will have no random rotation. If you bring this up, you can randomly rotate that. And uh, this is going to be another feature of the new scatter tool. So I'm going to come here and uh, just, I'm going to name this as random rotation. Yeah, so this is going to be our smaller debris. Now, if we take a look at this, so if we want to scatter smaller debris, we will have to realize these instances, but you can see that we have some really dense meshes. We, we have some meshes that have a lot of polygons in them. So that could be quite problematic if you realize these, these all of these, yeah, it's going to be very, very slow. So what I'm going to do, instead of doing this, though this would produce better results, I'm going to just use the points we had. And uh, so just come here. Let me just make another branch here. Use a delayed node, but this time we want to delay points. I'm using the same gradient, this, the same position node. So uh, about that, but uh, this time we want to use even more. We want to mostly to delay even more. So, and uh, we can instance on points. Uh, you can see we can easily add the debris we want, just like this. You can control the density and it's already on the ground as we want. We're running into another problem uh, that these, these are creating this box or are taking on the shape of the grid, which doesn't look nice. So what we can do is uh, we can use these points and check their proximity uh, to, to these. So we can use a proximity node and we want to check the proximity to points. And uh, these are the points we want to check. So if we look at the distance, you can see we get a mask and we can use a ramp to add contrast. Or we can use a compare node with the less than and now that gives us a nice selection i can further i can delete uh, the points actually we need to change this to greater yeah so that we only select the inside points and now if we look at this we get something like that have that just like this now, this would really look better if we were using realized instances because they'll give us a very, a better map than this. But if you, re if you try to realize the geometry, uh, it's going to be very heavy. But another thing we could do is uh, scale the instances based on our, best, based on this mask, the distance. And I think we can even do a map range, a map range so that uh, let's bring this down a bit just like that and uh, if we look at this and uh, we can use this map range to scale down these instances so i can use a scale instances and use this gradient this mask here uh, to scale some of these instances but the instances depending on depending on their distance from the debris but this needs to be flipped so i'll use our car ramp to flip this.
that's our debris scatter uh, we just need to set up some parameters to use so for example we have the width uh, let's create a panel call this main debris and uh, have another panel called small debris okay so main debris goes up all of these should be in the main debris uh, we also want to expose the density you can come here and uh, look for the density density of uh, the larger particles so if i want more i can have more if i want less we can have less yeah, another thing we could expose here is the debris collection in case you want to use something different so i'll just expose that uh, let's see we have the random rotation uh, random scale uh, this is the scale maximum random scale uh, we can also we also have this max height so if you want the powers to be to be less so i can have uh, max height here change the max height bring that here now we can work on the small debris so i'll just come in here uh first things we want we want we want uh, the you want the maximum spread Yeah, if you want to get destruction tools it's going to be available you can get it on my patreon or you can get it on gumroad or if you want just the project we have done here you can just become a youtube member and get it links are going to be in the description or get it on my patreon gumroad and blender market thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video